Evan, I, I, I know you know his game well, but just uh, your assessment of James Harden in his debut, his first game with the team and how he looked. Man, it was uh, incredible. You could see him uh, trying to figure out the best way to play early on. I felt like we all were overpassing, trying to make everybody comfortable. And then he just got into his mode of, you know, being aggressive to score. And that opened up the whole game for all of us. So, you know, glad he got his feet up under him. He's got to keep plugging away, keep being better each day. Was there an increased, I know he's new, and of course you're going to do a lot of talking there, but kind of increased communication across the board with the team so that you guys are locked in at the task at hand? Yeah, I mean, you got James, myself, Jeff, DJ out there, Joe, guys who've been in the league for a while. I think all of us, um, you know, on the same page and communicating what we need from each other on the defensive side of the ball, especially on offense. I think we were moving and flowing a little bit uh, on offense, you know, based off our communication. You know, we didn't have a play coming across half and guys were talking guys through actions and uh, same on the defensive side of the ball. So we're only going to get better at that. And, uh, you know, it's going to take some time for us to build up that consistency of, you know, how we want to play on both ends. But, you know, it was a good step. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, KD, uh, during his introductory press conference, James was asked what part of his game he needed to improve or emphasize or whatever he said playmaking and he he in Houston he kind of pounded the ball but tonight he moved the ball and there were moments where when you and he and Harris were moving the ball the defense was paralyzed what do you think uh this kind of debut does for him what message does it send in terms of sacrifice and how he's willing to play and yet be able to still step up and score. Yeah, I mean, James, uh, I didn't, he played the same way he always played, to be honest. I mean, he played the same way he was playing in Houston, you know, handling the basketball, being a pass first guard, trying to get his guys uh, good looks. You know, he played the same way. And, um, you know, coach put him at the point. I think that's his natural position, to be honest, um, his point and, you know, off guard, you know, combo guard. and. You know, for him to uh, come out and get 14 assists, 12 rebounds for us at the point guard was uh, was key. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Seven, uh, you and James have what, I guess, seven scoring titles between you. And Ty probably hit the most iconic shot in the last 10 years. I mean, when you have three guys that are so accustomed to leading teams, getting late buckets, big, big shots, What's the biggest key to making sure that all three of you can be as good or as dominant as you're accustomed to being, but still keep the main thing, the main thing? Um, well, understand is more than just us three on this basketball team. You know, we going to need Joe Harris to continue to knock down shots, TLC. We're going to need DeAndre to roll to the rim hard and our bigs to come in and, and help set screens and rebound. And so I think it's a group effort and that's going to, you know, open up the floor for, for all of us. And, you know, it's, Having high IQ guys who are unselfish, who, you know, uh, want to make the extra passes, you know, we'll see how it plays out. You know, each game is different. I think we want to approach each game with that attitude of just all of us being who we are and being aggressive, but, you know, being on one string and, you know, we'll see how it goes. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, obviously you and James have kept in touch and worked out together over the years, but it's been a while since you two were in an official NBA game together. Does the rapport you two have with each other kind of translate pretty quickly, given given your ties, or did it take a couple of sessions for that to really get in a full swing? Um, no, I mean, like I said, having veteran guys and, and and being in the league for so long, you didn't worked on so many different schemes and 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 offensive actions. You kind of know uh, how to play the game, and you know it's not just me and James. Jeff's the same way. DJ's the same way. Kyrie's the same way. You know, guys that've been in the league for almost ten plus years, where you know we could just sometimes we don't even have to speak to, to know what we're thinking. And, and, you know, guys are, you know, just understand each other and we've been studying each other for so long, scouting each other for so long. So the IQ is just there, you know, it's only going to get better. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Kevin, you, you had 42 tonight. At what point did you feel like, yeah, all right, I, I'm, I've got this. I've, I found my rhythm here after getting off to, uh, a, a little bit of an up and down start really early on. Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> missing shots was, I felt like I got to my spots, you know, I think it was a matter of time before I started to knock them down. And, 
I got some great screens tonight from DJ and the bigs and James set me up nice and my teammates set me up nice. Um, but I just felt comfortable and, you know, I'm getting better, getting more comfortable each game and, you know, hopefully it continues. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, you know, obviously you and James and Kyrie can score, but another part of you guys' games is that you, you guys are high IQ and you kind of can tell what a defense is going to do before they do it. Uh, how do you think that is going to help guys like Joe, guys like DeAndre out there uh, when the defense really can't afford to double because either it's going to be a lob or Joe's going to be open for a three? Yeah, um, you know, I can't wait till we have our full team together and seeing where we can create shots for, for you know, shooters, seeing how we can get our, our big, some easy points in the paint. Uh, but it's going to be tough for anybody to double us, um, especially out at the three-point line. And, you know, teams may trap us in the pick and roll, but we got guys that can make good plays on that back end. And, uh, but, you know, you're going to get your best shot from everybody. Like tonight, these, these guys, felt like, I felt like they didn't miss a shot in the second half, you know. So we're going to get the best shot from everybody, but it's about us every single night and, uh, you know, how we can continue to. To just keep putting in, uh, putting out good energy on both ends of the floor. Jen Williams with Fox Five New York. Hey Kevin, did you get a chance to talk with James after the game, and what was that conversation like? Um, no, nah, it was just good win, <laughs> good game. You know, let's get back to practice tomorrow and see how we can get better and learn from tonight. We put, we had 15 turnovers between us too, and uh, that's terrible. Um, and we had 19 as a team. So that says our teammates kept the ball in their hands. We got to be better. So, uh, you know, I, I probably should go talk to him about that right now. And last question, Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. Hey, Kevin, it, it's 10 games for you now. You know, your uh, average is up over 30 points. You know, I know you said you didn't have any expectations for how this would go, but as you evaluate it now, uh, you know, how do you how do you explain being this good this fast after that kind of layoff you had? Well, I got a long ways to go and I got a good staff, teammates, tra training staff that put me in position every day to uh, go out there and be the best that I can be. Um, so it's 10 games in. We got 62 more. That's a long season. Well, we got more than that. I, I missed a few games. What we had 13 games, 14 games. Uh, so we got a long season ahead of us, and uh, I just want to keep putting it, putting together some good days, good weeks, good months, and see what happens. Thanks so much, Kevin.